you know, if I want if I want something uh, that's going to be a thinker, I'll go watch a drama movie. I'll go watch a um, you know a detective mystery film. Um, you know, something that that's an intentionally. Um, thought provoking. Yeah, totally. I don't want See, that from horror. I like the ones that kind of they like they give you a ball of clay and they say, "What do you think you can make out of this?" Instead of making something and then putting it behind a wall and being like, "Guess what this is?" Hmm. Like, you know, it, they put it out there to make you think so that everyone kind of has a different experience as opposed to having this message that's hidden. And if you don't understand it, then oh, you, you, right. the movie doesn't make sense. You have to use your intellectual part and be like, oh, I... Right, now instead I, of your creative part. Right, right, right. Yeah, Which is kind of why I didn't like the ending of Hereditary, which we can talk about for half a second, because like we just talked about before this podcast, we were having oh. beverages. It just, I feel like it just straight turned into like, this is a pagan story, and that's all it is. And I had to like, go look up what they were doing. Because they said that guy's name all the time. What the fuck is his name? Pyman. Pyman. I don't want to know about Pyman. It's the exact thing you said. Uh, no Pyman, please. <laughs> Get Pyman out of here. I didn't think it was a real person. I thought it was something they made up for the movie. I 100% didn't, isn't. Because I'm not going to go do research. Right. <laughs> See? So you're with me on that ending. Though. Yeah. Do no Pyman. <laughs> Who wants Pyman? I'm Jerry Seinfeld. Who wants <laughs> what Pyman? is the deal with Pyman? No Pyman. <laughs> we just blew out the speakers. It's over. I'm sorry, all the podcasters. I didn't have a problem with the ending. Really? Yeah. I mean, it was it was fine. It was a little. Oh, I mean. See, I didn't have a problem with the pie. the problem I had. Spoiler alert! Yeah, we're spoiling kind of, but not really. Is the floating head or the floating uh, headless body that just kind of wafted Ooh. up into the treehouse? I was like, "What the hell was that?" Okay, we are in the spoiler territory for like one minute. The end was just like, "Here's a bunch of supernatural shit." Yeah, the end went like full B movie. Yeah, although the girl in the corner was pretty cool. The mom? Yeah. Oh yeah. I was like. Damn, that makes me uncomfortable. See, I, I liked the end. Um, I didn't, I, like I said, I didn't like how she just kind of floated up. That seemed, yeah, that, that seemed was disconnected from the rest of the movie. I um, agree. Like, I would have rather have seen the headless body walk across the. That would have been more yard. like Evil Dead style or something. It's yeah. just kind of like, dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah, I agree. That's actually creepier if she was just walked over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, floating was weird. Yeah, it didn't seem to fit. <laughs> no floating, no pie man. 